Let's see what we've got. So it's great frugal packaging. Oh, great, some Chinese instructions. It's going to be a great read. Excellent. Oh, good, we do have it in English. So there's a few things in here, but let's just get into the meat of it. So the first thing that we've got is, let's have a look. Oh, try not to break everything. Oh, nice. Oh, I'm trying not to break this. I'm going to come back to this. It looks like it's a heating station of salt. So within here, I think that's the meat of it. But let's uh, get a few things out. This looks like it might be the stand. Have I'm not sure, but we're going to come back to that. We've got some uh, desoldering wire. Mm, nice. Comes as part of the package. We've got ourselves 10 tips, which is great. So I can use various tips, and they look like they're all tinned already. So I don't even have to do anything with them. But that's great for me. Um, they are hollow inside, so um, I guess the soldering iron will just slot in nicely. I've got three adapters for various sizes for the actual um, heat gun, uh, which is great. One's um, quite wide. Uh, I'm going to have to check the mill of that in a sec. Aha, we've got ourselves a stand for the soldering iron. Let's just open this up. Great. Lots of packaging. Really, it's better than what I had before. Before, I didn't have anything to actually um, really uh, secure my soldering iron to. So, this is probably quite a simple contraption. Probably just have to slide it in as such. Yay! Okay, nice, simple. Got a little sponge, which is probably going to be useless for what I need because um, I'm going to probably use some metal scouring pads to just uh, take uh, excess solder off. Oh, here's the soldering iron. Let's actually have a look at this. Fairly simple. It's just got a little protector on there. That's nice. Not sure if that's a piece, but it looks like that's where the tips are actually going to be placed. But it also looks as though it's tinned too. Looks as though it's slightly tinned. You may just see that. No, okay, well, but it is there. Sorry, just got some camera problems. So let's unscrew this. Oh, nice. So within here, it looks like that's how the heat's actually transferred. I'm not going to open it too much because I do want to. Don't want to use this, but it looks like that's what's actually supplying the heat to the tip. Ah, right. Okay. So, you do have an 11th tip as well. I should count them again. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, okay. So, you have this tip as well, which is a lot smaller. And to change the tips, you unscrew it. You pop the tip in and then you place it on the actual soldering iron and there we go nice and simple oh, okay well I'm gonna just place that in its holder and um, come back to it oh, that's a got a little bit of a problem and it could be because of how I've actually positioned it I guess you've got to be careful which way around it goes because it actually hits the bottom of the pan so let's see if uh, if I've actually got this the wrong way around. Yeah, it looks like it needs to be this way. It's better. So you have to be careful of which way around you have that. So it goes in quite nicely to the holder. Well, okay, well, let's just continue on. I'm just putting the tip back on the solder. So here's the actual station itself looks like it comes in two 
pieces. One is the electrical supply. Let's open this up. Oh no, it's the hot air gun. <laughs> totally forgot about that. There we go. It's wrapped in a whole load of bubble wrap. With an elastic band. We've got a nice caution, very hot. And here we go. We've got ourselves our, our actual heat gun. So let's open. Let's place that back in there. And have a look at the 898D. I guess just because of the, the watts, I think it's 700 watts we're, we're going through, it's got a direct connection to the station itself, so we've got a few things on here, which is um, to turn it, the, the rework, the hot air gun on and off, to turn the whole uh, solder on and off, and then we've got a nice um, connector here doesn't look like an XLR, it looks like a different type of comm connector. We can readjust the air I guess temperature and then we've got the same for the soldering iron. Okay well let's just turn this off and let's see um, how it performs. So something quite nice with the holder is that on the side of the station you can actually screw the hot air gun holder straight on so that's what I'm actually doing just here I'm gonna turn off the camera but you you'll be able to see it in just a second okay now that I've got the holder for the hot air gun in place nice um, I'm now just going to place in the pins for the soldering iron um, so it's got five pins I guess it's for the individual heating items just got to get it the right way around quite nice and simple to place in screw in and then we should be good to go. So I was trying to work out what what was this, and only until I read the instruction manual, RTFM, uh, you can look that up, the acronyms, um, you'll see that it explains how um, we can just open up the soldering iron, and actually these are replacement parts. So we've got two parts, one's for the soldering iron, and when we opened up the soldering iron, we saw this, uh, it looks like some kind of, silicon or well, not silica some something quite hard material to transfer heat um, please leave a comment below if you know what that is um, and this secondary uh, heating element this very much seems to be for the heat gun and this is for the solder so I'm guessing it's gonna break <laughs> and I'm gonna have to replace this so hopefully I don't know how you would re-solder this in the soldering iron or is there some kind of screwing mechanism. Let's see if we can open that up and have a look if, this, if it's quite simple. But uh, that's what they're for. The soldering iron seems to be quite simple. You, you just unscrew the top piece. Well, there was a piece before that. And um, you undo the uh, flexible support and you just push this through and you can actually see all the elements um, it looks like the actual heating element is soldered in place so although they do give you the replacement part you would need another soldering iron thankfully I do have one and you'd have to be careful and ensure that you're actually placing the right piece the right replacement pieces on to the correct pin however it is good that we've got this spare part in, in case the actual heating element does blow or, or cause us any issues. So I just unscrewed the uh, air gun and there were just uh, four screws um, placed in four corners. Um, and following that, I open it up and you can see it's got a fan. Um, the fan goes into the heating element just there and that's where the replacement part would go. Similarly, it looks as though everything is soldered. Apart from that, I'm not sure why that's not even soldered. It's just tied on. Wow, just tied on. Uh, I don't really want to take this off because I do want to use the air gun, but at least, at least I know if I need to replace it, the element goes in there and that's where all the connections would need to take place. Okay, well, let's turn this on. So we've got a nozzle up and running. I'm just turning the plug socket. Turn it on, but let's turn it on again and um, have a look at what, what happens. So it starts off, and the first thing that it does, it measures the temperature. Okay, so I'm going to turn it on, and let's... 
just going to turn it on and the first thing that it does it reads the current temperature and then if you want to actually set the soldering iron you click the star button and you turn the temperature up or down and then what should happen is that the temperature should slowly but surely rise to the required temperature so it's going to be doing that um, I did have a look at the iron I did give it a little tin um, as you can just see and you can also turn on the hot air gun at the same time and you've got a small controller just tells you where it's at and I think that's just a percentage and then you can increase the temperature and you get a little bit of heat so you can actually run both at the same time now what I'm going to do is I'm not going to be using the hot air gun and I'm not going to be using the soldering iron today but thank you very much for watching please feel free to like subscribe and leave a comment below and in my next video I'll be playing around with this a little bit more and um, see you soon next time I'll be playing around with this so see you soon